Hey guys and welcome to ArcTech. So in this video we'll see how to do pushing in a link stack. That is how to insert an element in a link stack. Now this operation is same as inserting an element at the beginning of a link list. Because in a link stack we insert an element at the beginning only. Okay. So you have to understand how to insert an element at the beginning of a link list and then you can understand this topic easily. So here is the code for inserting an element in a link stack. And this code is very similar for inserting an element in the beginning of a linked list. We have only one or two modifications here. The first thing is that in a, in a linked list, we use start as a pointer that will store the address of the first element of the linked list. But in the case of link stack, we use a pointer whose name is top and top will work same as a start. Okay, that is top will store the address of the first element of the link stack. Now here in this code, we are taking a pointer as an argument and this pointer is of type node. Okay. And this pointer's name is new PTR. Okay. Now new PTR is a pointer that is having the address of the newly allocated memory for the node. That is, that is the address of the element that is to be inserted inside this link stack. Okay. So for example, if you have a node like this and you have to insert this node inside this, inside a link stack. Okay. Now this node is uh, is having address and that address is stored inside new PTR. Okay, so new PTR is a pointer that is having the address of this node, which is to be inserted inside a link stack. Okay, now after this, what we'll do is we have two conditions. Okay, the first condition is that the list is empty. Okay, and second condition is that the list is not empty. So if the list is empty, we will execute this part. And if the list is not empty, then we will execute this else part. Now let us see the first case that is the list is empty. Now assume that this is our top pointer and this pointer is having a null value. Why? Because the list is empty and when the list is empty, then we have top is equal to null. Now after this to insert an element inside this uh, list, that is this element is uh, having address that is stored inside new PTR. That is new PTR is pointing to this uh, node. What we'll do is we will do only one simple step. That is we will assign this new PTR to this node. Okay. That is we will assign the address of this uh, node to this top. Okay. Therefore we have top is equal to new PTR. So as soon as this line is executed, we have top pointing to this new PTR. Why? Because after this line top will have the address of this node. That is the value of new PTR. Hence now top will point to this new PTR. That is top will have the address of this new PTR. So in this way we can insert an element in a empty link stack. Now let us see how to insert an element in a non-empty link stack. That is, we have some elements inside the non-empty link stack. Now assume that this is our link stack. Okay. And this is a non-empty link stack. So here we have top pointing to the first element and we have this element that is first element pointing to the second element. Why? Because in a link list, every element will point to the next element. Okay. So this, that is a link part of this node will have a pointer that will store the address of this uh, second node. Okay. And in this uh, second node, we have a pointer. This pointer of second node will store a null value. Why? Because there is no node after this last node. Okay. So here you can see we have a X here. That is a null value inside this pointer. Now the name of the pointer that is stored inside the node is next. Okay. So the pointer that is stored here is called next. You can see here we have next as a pointer. Okay. So we have next pointer stored inside each node. Okay. Now this is our node that is to be inserted inside this link stack. Okay. And new PTR is a pointer that is having the address of this node. Now to insert this node inside this link stack, what we do is we follow two simple steps. Okay. The first step is that we make the next pointer of this node point to this first node. Okay. That is we, we make a link like this. So to make a link like this, what we do is we write a code that is new PTR to next is equal to top. Okay. That is we assign the value of top, the top to this new PTR to next. Okay. Now see new PTR to next is the pointer that is stored inside this. Okay. That is this field. Now this field is assigned with the value of top. Okay. Now top is having a value that is the address of this first node. Okay. Therefore, so this pointer that is the next pointer of this node will store a value of top. That is the address of this first node. So in this way, this will, this uh, node will point to this first node. Now in the second step, we make this top point to this new node. Okay. That is we store the address of this new PTR inside this top. Okay. So after this, this top will point to this and this old link is broken. Okay. So you can see here we have uh, the value of new PTR stored inside this top. 
that is the see new peter is having the value that is the address of this uh, node therefore this top will store the address of this node and in this way top will point to this new ptr okay so in this way you can insert an element okay. in a so now let us stack. insert some elements inside this uh, link stack okay so here we have a link stack Init initially we have top pointing to this first element and we have first element pointing to this second element okay now after this to insert or to push s inside this stack what we'll do is we will first create the node that is we'll first create the node having s and then what we'll do is we will first make this next pointer of this node point to this uh, first node okay and then we will make top point to this uh, s okay this is having s okay so in this way we can insert a node in a link stack so you can see here s is inserted inside this link stack in the same way to push p inside this stack what we'll do is we will first create the node having p okay this is p stored inside the data field and then first we will make the pointer of this p node point to this first node okay and then we will make top point to this node okay so in this way you can see p is inserted inside this uh, stack so in this way we can insert an element in a link stack